my uh, new legendary axe for a spin and I didn't know what game I would do because I feel like if I do escalation it's gonna be too long and honestly escalations aren't really that hard at least the new one is, is not very hard I feel like I'd have to do the Toradora one the fire one if I wanted to have any sort of challenge and then Heroic Plus honestly feels super easy as well, so I figured the best option to try out the new axe uh, would be the Trial. But, um, the only thing that sucks is, obviously, I've never actually used it in a match. But, um, I'm not sure if it works in Maximum Danger. All I know is that it, it revives uh, all Slayers in a large radius, including if you're downed, apparently. So, like, if I'm down, I can use it to pick myself and my team up. So I figured doing a trial would probably be the best way to give the weapon a test. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've already got it to max level. Uh, yep, there it is, level 15. I just turned my laptop on. I need to get Twitch and YouTube pulled up. Uh, it's being slow right now, so I'll just wait till I'm done. But yeah, I've got the weapon already up to max, and then once I'm done giving it a try, I'm gonna start crafting the new boss armor. Because, um, this parasitic cell perks that these two pieces come with is very intriguing, so I might as well get their whole set done. And then, uh, plus it would be good defense for when I go to do the escalation again. But, um,. Yeah, and then once I get the transmog set, I'm probably gonna have, like, a separate loadout. I'm gonna have one with, like, the normal armor, and then the other one is gonna be, like, a transmog, and I'm gonna see what I can do with the different dyes and how I can make them look. Because I actually kind of like the look of the craftable armor more than I do than the, um, transmog armor. I don't know, maybe it's because I haven't seen the uh, transmog armor on someone yet. I've only seen the craftable armor, like this guy, he has the headpiece, but you know. I hope that I don't have just one teammate though, I'm hoping I can at least have two teammates. Hmm. I'm just not ready up. Oh god, it's only one teammate, alright. Well, I can revive me and him if we both lose our self revives, that's if it works that way. It should work that way, it's basically an extra revive. As far as I'm concerned. So this... Having this weapon should technically give... Us a second chance in the trial. I'm not sure though. I hope that's the case. Alright. I'm not gonna put down any pylons or anything like that. I'm not trying to... Uh, go for a top 100 placement. Because that wouldn't be able to happen even if I want to do. Also, I'm using the wrong lantern... I'm just not realizing that I usually use the Skarn one, I think it is. I don't I don't use the Drask one, but you know, here I am. I'm gonna get hit by one of these. Nope. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna save mm, I'm gonna save this uh ability for once wait, actually there are no self revives on this game mode, correct? Like on the Dauntless Trial. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna save it then for if we both go down. Which would obviously be the smart choice. Alright. Ooh, that's gonna hit me. Good thing I had shield. Dude, my stamina is terrible. Is that one of the side effects of this trial? I think it has to be. Because this feels like really, really low. Feels like I'm running out and like not regaining it very quickly at all. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Nope, we're good. Man, I wish I was doing a recording on the um on the uh the escalation um oh god last night I think it was not nah, yeah it was like the other day it was like really late and um. I was doing the new escalation, the terror one, and oh my god, 
and there is a fight where there is the Shrike, I think it's called, and the, um, Shroud. And they, like, my dodges were, like, on point, because, like, we were fighting the Shrike first, and, like, the Shroud guy, like, the Shroud, he kept on trying to, like, land on top of me, and I would just be, like, casually fighting Shrike, and then I would just dodge both of their attacks at the same time. It was, like, the coolest thing ever. Like, I don't know how to explain it. And I was doing it all on purpose, too. That's the best thing. I was, like, just perfectly timing it. It's like I had eyes on the back of my head. Man, we haven't done anything to this guy. Yeah, no, dude. This stamina is terrible. And we have not done anything to this guy. I'm not sure if it's because of the weapon I'm using, or maybe this guy's weapons aren't that leveled up, I don't know. But I feel like we should have done something by now. Aw, oh, come on. Oh wow. He lays on top of my weapon, and now I can't get it. At least my teammate got the blizzard thing. I didn't expect to beat the trial. I just wanted to use it to test the weapon, but I probably should have did the normal rather than the Dauntless Trial. Because, um, I mean, we're not doing much to this guy, and yeah, this is pretty much a guaranteed loss with just one teammate, at least with me anyway. Me and this teammate, we're not coordinated, uh, I mean, uh, I'm not using weapons or armor that's good against this guy. Cause I'm not, actually, what even is close shot? Is he neutral? I don't even know. All I know is I'm not using items that are intended to just like go ham on the trial. So mm. dude, this no stamina thing half the time is starting to seriously annoy me though. Oh my God. I'm just gonna let my stamina fully recharge. This is ridiculous. I mean, I do sprint a lot when I'm fighting on this game. Like, I just sprinted right there when I lunged at him. It's just part of my playstyle. But, like, come on. I've never had this much of a stamina issue ever before. It has to be a trial side effect. There's no way. Every single time there's, like, blizzards and whatnot involved in these trials, and it usually comes with the other side effects where um you know oh my god well there goes my other two throws but anyway it usually has the side effect of your stamina being bad oh man I don't have stamina that would have been a great time to test the uh, ability but uh, I'm gonna wait till we're you know both on the ground because we legitimately got knocked down. I don't want to just give myself up to test out the weapon. Although I probably should have. Ooh. I should probably make sure I have it on me too. Now that I think about it, I probably need to have the weapon on me. Oh. Oh, I forgot I have nine lives. Oh, and I have Tragic Echo too. Okay, I need to keep that in mind. I completely forgot I had those. I don't know. I playing so many escalations is like clouded in the fact that that's like a feature I have on my armor and not just in escalation. That's gonna hit me. Ooh, apparently not. And there's no stamina thing. I swear. I know it heals too. So if I pick up me and my teammate, then we'll get our health back. So that's cool. I don't have any stamina to dodge these. Hey, he sent me a friend request though. He must like me. He must, uh... He probably thinks I'm like really good at this game or something because I haven't gone down. Like, even though technically I have, but... Nine lives saved me. Oh, okay. I don't have these stamina. Oh my god. 
Okay, I got some shield back from picking him up. Get over here. Okay. And this is much more intense than I planned on it being. I mean, it doesn't sound like I'm stressed or anything in the middle of the fight, but trust me, this is very intense for me. I just, I feel like I get in the zone a lot more in escalations, though, whenever I'm fighting two enemies. Because then I'm just kind of like. Did I just. Wait, was I gaining shield from hitting him? I think I was. Alright. I'm probably gonna get hit right here and go into Tragic Echo. Ooh, I have 7 health. How? Oh my god. Now I'm in Tragic Echo. Alright. Boom. Teammate, please don't go down. We have extra chances here. That's not the button I wanted to press. But here we are. Alright, teammate, your turn to pick me up. I finally went down. Oh, I got his teammate. Let's go. Oh my god, that's actually really nice. That ability is actually really nice. I wish that we didn't go down though until we were in maximum danger. Simply because, um, what's it called? Like, I, I wanted to test. Oh no. I wanted to test if it would allow me to get him up when we're in maximum danger. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, come on. Man. How does that hit? Alright, whatever. We're gonna die right here. Come on. Yeah, no, that ability is really nice, though. I like that ability. I, I wasn't really paying attention to the animation. I'm not sure if there was like a cool animation Because that's usually like my favorite thing about the uh, legendary weapons abilities is the animations I probably should have paid more attention to that, but I'll I'll probably just Oh god I'll figure I'll, I'll see the animation next time I go to do that guy are going a lot longer than I thought we would. I'm gonna go use this thing, now that I think about it. Oh, no. Oh, he has the same idea. <laughs> Alright. Thank God for the Aetherborn uh, perk. Alright, you know... Oh, God. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to him. Nope. Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna try. Nope. No, not gonna work. I wanna try to beat it for this guy so bad, but I don't think it's gonna happen, if I'm gonna be honest. I'm not skilled enough. You know what's funny is I was fighting a cool shot on the uh, escalation, and I fought a cool shot without getting hit once the entire time. And. I mean, obviously, I had, like, you know, less stamina issues, because, um, you know, it didn't have, like, the trial, like, uh, side effects to it, but still, like, I'm doing really bad compared to the escalation earlier. Come on. Okay. This could be good. Yep, this could be great, actually. I'm gonna try my best to beat it for this guy, but no promises. Man, I'm in a bad spot. Like a really bad spot. Come on, come on, break. Thank you. Oh, I missed. I'm not, this guy probably has already beaten this guy in less than 30 minutes, so this is probably all for nothing, but I really want to try. Come on. Bring my stamina. Come on. 
I'm focusing so much more now. I don't <laughs> I think it's because I've already gotten the weapon ability test out of the way, so now I can, I can, you know, focus, focus. Maybe that's what it is. I might be overthinking that. God. Man, how am I still up right now? I mean, he's not, I feel like he's less active. When there's only like one person, I think he's less active for sure. Come on, I'm probably gonna die and this is all gonna be for nothing. But, I mean, oh my god, I beat it! <laughs> oh god. I beat it. He was definitely way less active when it was just me fighting him. But wow. Yeah, me and my friend already beat this in underneath five minutes. We, like, it was like almost underneath three minutes, but yeah. Man, that's crazy. I almost got one of my axe mastery challenges done too, even though I don't need to worry about that anymore because I've already got it maxed. But dude, that was crazy. I actually managed to beat him. I think my like, little lightning strike thing was what killed him. I guess it's a good thing I wasn't using the Skarn. Uh, Lantern after all, then, huh? <laughs> Man, that was nuts. I did not expect to win that. I need to hurry up and get my, uh... Laptop, you know. I need to get my Twitch and YouTube pulled up so I can... Get this going, but... Man. That was not the outcome I was expecting of that match. It took a long time, but I beat it. So that's pretty cool. I beat it with only one other person. He obviously was not as geared. I mean, like, I'm not max geared either, and I'm not even wearing the right, you know, weapons for that, uh, that enemy. But, like, you can tell that my teammate, like, his gear score, like, the level of his armor and whatnot, it was definitely lower than mine. His weapons, too. But, you know, he'll get there. I'm not even fully there yet. The only thing that I have you know, available for max level is my axes, and the only axes I have at max level are the, um, legendary ones, and then, uh, Stalker's Mercy and Valamir's Decree are at level 13 each. I used to use those two axes, like, literally non-stop, like, those are my two main weapons until they brought out the legendary ones, but now I have all these legendary axes. I don't know what else I have legendary. I think I have a legend, yeah, a, le a legendary sword, and then um, technically the repeaters right here are legendary, and then I have legendary strikers. Huh. Yeah, it's crazy. I was not expecting to win that. All right, well, I guess now I should. Go back to farming the escalation Hello, for the Steve. armor. And let me see. Let me guess, I need the, uh. Yep, ruptured stalk. Man. I'm gonna need to get a lot of the ruptured stalk if I wanna max out this armor, which sucks, because I just spent so long getting just that item to finish off my axe. But all this armor is going to take a lot as well. Plus, I'm running low on, like, these toxic branches and whatnot. Man, I got a lot to do. Alright, well, I'm going to go start on that then. That'll be all.